It's 6.30. It's time to get up. I forgot to bring a jacket. <clears throat> I forgot to bring a couple of things. We were in a hurry to get out. Well, somebody's got their breakfast. Typical Central New York morning. No, no sun, all clouds. Which is good because I put the trailer. The trailer solar is pointed north. So I parked all wrong for solar. Caesar has not stopped hunting since we got here. This must be a place with a lot of woodchucks because he's been hunting the woods and the trees since we got here. Blueberry pancakes for breakfast. These little paper food containers, we call them. We make these where I work. And they are marvelous for cooking up like one breakfast for one or two, or a bowl of cereal or a bowl of oatmeal. They're not microwavable. That's the only thing, because they're paper. And the microwave sometimes heats them up and they burst into fire, but they'll hold boiling water. Blueberries, lots of blueberries. We're really making kind of a blueberry tart out of what should be pancakes. But there's lots of blueberries. Temperature is 48 degrees. Not too bad, but just a little cooler than I prefer. You got the tea kettle on, you got the frying pan on. Time to make our blueberry pancake tart. When you're burning something like blueberries out of a frying pan, it's very important to have a non-stick pan. Or you'll be scrubbing this for a day. If you're a tea drinker and you haven't tried Constant Comment tea, this stuff is great. It's got a little pieces of orange peel or something in it and cinnamon. It's a great tea. Good morning tea. Did you eat your breakfast? Did you eat your breakfast? Where's your breakfast? That's not your breakfast. You ate your breakfast. Good boy. We stayed hooked to the car last night because um, we didn't think we were going to go anywhere. And um, in order to level the trailer, <laughs> we had to raise the car up about, I don't know, two, three inches above where the hitch wanted to be. Um, I don't recommend that, but it is possible to stay hooked to your trailer and uh, get it leveled. You don't always have to unhook. We didn't think we were gonna go anywhere. In fact, actually I think I'm gonna pull the trailer around if the sun comes up. I think that's enough pancake for all three of us. The great hunter. <laughs> He's hunting for woodchucks. There are like four or five of these little stand of trees around this field and each one of these little stands of trees has woodchuck holes and I'm hoping they have woodchucks in them because oftentimes they have skunks or foxes and things in them. A teaspoon of sugar. I have another one in the pan if anybody's hungry. Glad to have you over.
I could say this was really good, but you know when you're really hungry, everything tastes good. People often ask me how I clean up and uh, what I do with the water when I wash dishes and wash up. Well, this is my frying pan. This is how I wash it up. <laughs> Paper towel. Wipe it out real good. <clears throat> it's non-stick. Nothing sticks. It's clean. That's done. Scraper. Same thing. Non-stick. Dry cleaning. Is it sanitary? Uh, maybe not, but it's cooking the utensils. They'll be cooked. Teacup and fork. It's here for a minute. A little boiling water from the tea kettle. Dishwasher. Early dishwasher, right here. Fork's done. Gray water. Drying cycle on the tikka, on the dishwasher. And then I've got paper towel for garbage. And that's it. The paper plates and the paper mixing bowl, they just go in the garbage. That's what I do now. If I wash myself, that's similar. Um, I just get a washcloth, get it wet, kind of scrub up my dirty parts. Usually my face <laughs> from eating. Usually there's food all over my face. Um, but um, I'll rinse the washcloth out with the tea kettle um, right over the ground and it's gone. So I don't have any accumulation of rinse water, draw, and wash water, or anything like that. And there's usually not any food um, particles or anything to do because I have the garbage disposals that take care of that. So they're just waiting to go do something. They can't stand to just sit still, but they have to be in sight all the time. Pain in the butt. Caesar loves the trailer's windows. You can see out all of them. Just a quick notice. The trailer is level. See how unlevel the car is? And they're still connected. I don't think it hurts it. It's a ball. Just thought that was interesting. Okay. I've got something to talk to you about that's a little sensitive. So if you're squeamish or if you're set in your ways and you want to hear about it, um, just zip ahead about a minute and a half. Now, if you're like me and I boondock all over the place in wild forest, there's no facilities here, none. Now, me and the boys, we can pee anywhere. If you're female, that's a little different, <clears throat> but um, nobody's anywhere around here, so we can go to the bathroom almost anywhere. But when we do, it's a good idea to take your garbage bag with you don't leave this strewn all around in the woods. Um, with the boys, I, I usually bring their bag. I don't pick up their stuff in the woods, but I pick up mine, the paper. The, 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 the organic material can stay, but the paper, don't, don't litter the woods with paper. Um, this is a beautiful campsite. It's strewn with litter right now. There's, there's a Wendy's meal over here for a family. I don't know how far the nearest Wendy's is from here. Do what you can. Take your garbage bag when you go out in the woods. Pick up some stuff. Make it look better than when you got there. And enjoy it even more by not seeing a lot of garbage around. So, take care of the woods. Enjoy them. And uh, camp. Ooh, perfect weather right now. This is perfect. Um, it was 48 degrees. There were no bugs this morning as I'm making breakfast and everything. Uh, it's just getting up to around 60 and the, some few black flies are coming out. But as long as we're moving, they don't bother us. So awesome time of the year. It's uh, May 21st, 2016. We're just bopping through the woods and we found this road. It's, that's why it's fun to just bop through the woods. Caesar, on the other hand, he's still hunting. That's all he does is hunt. These are really pretty. Um, this is the forest floor with 10,000 pink trilliums. And they're really pretty. I hope the color comes out because they're a mix of white and purple, pink, whatever they are, but they're all over. 
I mean, we're in a complete, um, surrounded by them. We're about two miles. They're tired and hot. It's uh, 65 degrees out. Too much for the fur bags. Get a drink. Back after the hike. That was good. About two and a half miles. Not a bad hike. One of the things I like to do is um, in a campsite like this, which is really state forest in the middle of nowhere, it's got no management or anything like that. I'll build a, a small fire and then I'll clean up the area and, and burn it, all the papers and stuff. Along with my breakfast, you know, paper plates, it all burns, but it cleans up the area. It does a good job cleaning up. I hate to see a place like this that's been trashed. There's been a lot of, um, not, not a whole bunch, but just, just enough that it's, I can pick it up, fill a bag, and, and put it on the fire. So, 